guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Kate and today we are here to do another workout together. Today's workout is focused on the glutes. So, for the workout, you will need a heavy resistance band attached to something stable, a small slider or a towel, a short resistance band, and also heavy weight and a mat. But before we start, let's warm up. Stay nice and tall, keep your chest open, keep your belly button pulled in and bring those knees up. Let's march in place. Inhale and exhale. Inhale and exhale. If you can bring the straight leg up without arching your lower back, that would be great. Exhale as you raise that leg. Let's do four, three, two, one, and done. Perfect. Now place your feet nice and wide. Let's draw hip circles. Push your hips forward and engage your core. Exhale as you push your hips forward and squeeze the glutes. Keep your shoulders stable. Do not move your torso. We are only moving our hips. Stop and switch. Opposite direction. Engage the core and squeeze the glutes as you push your hips forward. Perfect. Let's do two. One. And done. And now, while we stay nice and wide, let's bend over and try to reach the toes. Inhale down, exhale up. Inhale down, exhale up. Keep your shoulders back and down. Core braced, belly button pulled in. Let's do two more. Down, up, down, and up. Perfect. Now, grab a mat and sit down. So sit down, place your feet with knees bent in front of you, slightly wider than shoulder width apart. Put both knees to the side, then back up. Opposite side and back up. If you need to, you can keep your hands behind your back or you can keep it in front of you, but keep your chest up, lower back. Protected, belly button pulled in. So, two more times. To the right and to the left. To the right and to the left. And now we are going to put both knees to the side and thrust our hips forward, get down and switch. Opposite side. Really focus on squeezing the foot. Exhale up, inhale as you move from side to side. One more time to the right, one more time to the left. Perfect. Okay, guys, now come back up. We are going to do this few exercises one more time. We are starting with marching in place. Stay nice and tall. Keep your chest open, shoulders back and down, belly button pulled in, and pop those knees up, up, up. If you want to, you can bring straight leg up. Exhale. Keep pulling the belly button in. Perfect. And done. Awesome. Now place your feet wider than shoulder width apart and let's draw the circles with our hips. Pushing the hips forward to the side, back and to the side. Exhale as you push your hips forward and stop. 
switch opposite direction. Let's do two more. And stop. Now, bend over. Try to reach your toes. Inhale down. Exhale up. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your mouth. Keep that lower back neutral. Perfect. Two more. Up and up. Nicely done. Okay. Now get down on the floor. We are moving from side to side. Keep your torso upright. Knees bent and slightly wider than shoulder width apart. A little noisy. So place both knees to the right and then to the left. To the right and then to the left. If you do not want to travel, keep your arms behind your back on the floor. It will help you to stay in place. But rotate your hips. One more. And done. Perfect. Now, placing both knees to the side and thrusting the hips, engaging our glutes. Inhale as you travel from side to side. Exhale as you come up and thrust your hips. One more time. And done. Awesome, guys. Okay, we are done with the warm up. Now we are going to start our workout. So, today's workout, we are going to do a lot of reps. We have six exercises. And we are going to complete 100 reps for each exercise. So, 600 reps total. For the first exercise, you're going to need resistance band attached to something stable and a heavy weight. Beginners, you can skip the resistance band or you can skip the weight. If you know how to do the swing, then just do 100 swings forward and back. If you don't know how to do swings, then attach the resistance band. So to something stable, wrap the resistance band around, around your hip bones. Walk away and hinge, pushing your hips back and then thrusting your hips forward. 100 times. If you need to, you can break it into 20 reps. Five times. But try not to take long breaks between your reps. Okay, guys? So, 100 reps. Wrap those, that resistance band around your hips. Wrap your weight and let's swing. One, two, three. Do not push your hips forward. Do not arch your lower back. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Push through the heels. Well. 14, 16, 18, 20, 2, 4, 26, if you need to take a break, 8, 30, 2, Four, six, eight, forty. Okay, I'm gonna take a quick break, have a sip of water, and then continue. We did forty reps. We still have sixty more to go. Remember. 
you can make it easier and you can make it harder you decide what intensity you want high or low doing swings make it more intense just thrusting the hips or doing the pull throughs make it easier and also i'm using heavy resistance band you can use light one or you can use cable okay let's continue let's see if we will be able to finish all our reps or we will do 30 and 30 let's go two four six eight ten halfway twelve 14, 16, keep your shoulders back and down, 20, 2, 4, 6, 8, 30, okay, I need to take a break, and take a second to catch my breath. We are 70 reps through. So, 30 reps and we are done with the first exercise. If you need more time, then pause the video. And then once you're done, you just go to the next exercise. Or you can also stop when we stop and see how many reps you were able to finish. 50, 60, 80. Okay, last 30. Resistance band. Rest against your hip bones. Walk away from the point of attachment. Hinge from your hips. And let's go. Two. Four, six, eight, last twenty, eighteen, sixteen, fourteen, twelve, ten, eight, six. Four, last two, and done. Awesome. Okay, all done with the first exercise. You can move that weight aside. For the next exercise, we will need something to hold on to. So, if you need to stretch or massage, you can massage the muscle or you can stretch it by putting the heel on the knee and squatting back and down, keeping torso up. While you stretch or massage, try to catch your breath. And always do it on both sides. Perfect. Okay, so next exercise. Beginners, you can stay on all fours, extend one leg and just do straight leg kick. Bring the straight leg up and down. Everyone else, we are going to do the kneeling straight leg kick, kick back, so, or back kick. We are going to get on our knees in front and something stable or heavy weight, so we can hold on to that weight or a piece of furniture. 
get on your knees sit back and down on your heels now extend one leg behind you and hold on to that stable object and from here without raising your torso you are going to raise straight leg up kick it up if you need to move closer so we are doing two, uh, 50 reps per each leg let's go two four six keep your torso down first 10 12 14 small kick 16 18 20 22 24 and 25 so i did half of the reps now i'm gonna switch and do 25 more on the opposite side focus on keeping your shoulders and your hips low and parallel to the ground hold on to your stable object and let's go two four six eight first ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen five more three two one and done okay we are halfway through now we are going to catch our breath quickly and switch again so we have 25 more reps on each side let's do it get down or stay up on all fours and kick straight leg up two four six eight ten twelve fourteen neck is neutral eighteen five left three two one and done keep your neck neutral do not look up keep your eyes on the floor take a deep breath in get down and let's continue two four six eight twelve oh ten twelve fourteen sixteen eighteen last five four three two one and done ouch okay perfect all done if you need to stretch you can get in a half pigeon bend the front knee and keep it sit down between the heel and the hip then make sure that your hips and shoulders parallel to the ground switch and stretch the opposite leg the opposite side perfect okay now next exercise we are going to need our heavy resistance band and a mat or padding for the knees so let me get my mat ready and you want to be in front of the point of attachment but facing away so you will need to get in that band in the loop beginners you can skip this part you can skip the resistance band just get on your knees sit back and down on your heels take a deep breath in brace the core keep your chest open and up as you exhale thrust your hips and come up straight line do not over arch your lower back so inhale down exhale up inhale down exhale up we are doing 100 reps four 
five if you do not have the resistance band you can use additional weight seven eight nine ten brace that core as you come up two you can raise your heel make it a little easier and you can also stop and stretch your quads if you feel that your quads are getting tired so we did 13 reps sit back and down let's go 14 15 16 17 18 and 20 okay guys my quads are tired from the prior workout so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna divide my 100 reps between four different exercises so I will do 20 reps after each exercise so we did 20 now let's move on to the next exercise and for this next one we will need a mat a towel or the slider and then if you want to something stable to hold on to we are doing 50 reps for each leg beginners you are going to stay nice and tall and slide down and back come up back and come up if you need to you can hold on to something stable everyone else we are sitting down keeping our elbow our knee at 90 degree and bringing the knee in and out in and out doing 25 per side twice through six seven stay low eight nine 10, 11, 12, if you need to hold on to something stable, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 4 left, 3, 2, 1, and done perfect now shake it and switch we are going to do 25 more on the opposite side okay get down and let's slide two four Six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, last five, three, two, one and done perfect okay massage it and stretch if you need to we are halfway through this exercise so we are going to switch now if you don't have a towel or if you don't have a slider you can do it in your socks in your living room just make sure that you're sliding back and forth okay let's do it two four six eight ten 
if you lost your slider just find the proper position 14 16 keep losing it because I'm tired but we did 16 let's continue 18 20 22 24 and 25 perfect guys quick sip of water and we are going to finish this exercise I forgot about kneeling hip thrust. So I'm doing 40 reps after this exercise. Okay, let's do it. Let's finish. Two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18, last 5, get down, 3, 2, 1, and done, ah. Ooh. okay, glutes, and quads on fire. So let's do 40 reps of the kneeling hip thrust. Remember, we need to get in the loop of the resistance band. Beginners, you can do it without the resistance band. Just get down on your knees sit back and down on your heels and then come up thrust your hips squeeze your glutes brace the core before we start let's try to catch our breath so also being closer to the point of attachment makes it easier being further away makes it harder so you guys pick the intensity as I mentioned before you are in control of how hard or how easy you want it to make let's go two four eight ten if you're sliding back that's okay 12, 14, 16, 18, 18 left. Take a break if you need to. And then let's keep going. 16. 14. 12. 10. Do not push your hips forward fast the straight line last eight six four two sit all the way down and back 
last two. One more. And done. Perfect. 40 reps are done. Now we are going to take a quick break from this exercise. We still have two more exercises left. So let's continue. Next exercise. We will be staying on our back. We need one weight and resistance band. For the advanced people, beginners, you can skip both the weight and the resistance band. So, first and foremost, sit back on, sit down on your butt, bend the knees, open them up to the side and bring the soles of the shoe together. Keep your heels closer to your body. Lay down on your back. Make sure that your lower back is touching the ground. Take a deep breath in. And as you exhale, push your hips up. That's going to be small raise. Not very high, but you're going to feel it in your glutes. So, let me put resistance band around my knees, additional resistance, and let me grab my weight. I'm using the kettlebell, which is 50 pounds. You guys can use any weight you want. So, place the weight. Bring your soles together and let's thrust our hips. Two, four, six, eight. First, ten, twelve. We are doing hundred reps. You can Divide it in 20s, 30s, 40s, 16, 18, first 20, 22, 24, 26, 28. Keep your core braced. 30. Okay. If you need to, you can take a quick break. And if you want to, you can remove the resistance band. It will make it a little easier. Or you can drop the weight. So, 30 reps done. Catch your breath. Drop your weight. Lay down. Bring your soles together. Knees out. And let's go. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen. 20, 22, 24, 26, 28, 30. Okay, another break. We did six traps. So now, if you want to, Drop the weight. We are going to finish with 40 reps. For this last 40 reps, I'm gonna use the resistance band and lighter weight. 20 pounds. Lay down. Bring 
bring your toes together and let's finish it. 38. 36. 34. 32. 30. 28. 26. Last quarter. 24. 22. Last two tens. 18. 16. Do not drop your hips. 14. 12 left. 10. 8. 6. 4. Last two. And all done. Perfect. Okay. So now we have forty more reps for the kneeling hip thrust. Get your mat ready. Take a sip of water and let's finish this exercise we are almost there guys we only have one more exercise once we are done with this knee and hip thrust last 40 reps so get on your knees take a deep breath in exhale and thrust your hips. 36. 34. 32. Last 30. 28. 26. 24 22 20 Okay If you need to take a break Quickly catch your breath If you need to get closer to the point of attachment To make it a little easier Then, then do that Let's finish 18 16 14 12 10 8 Almost there 6 Five, four, three, two, one more, and all done. Oh boy, this one was one of the longest ones. Whew. Just because we needed to take more breaks. Okay, take a second catch your breath and to stretch we have one more exercise so three four five more minutes and we'll be done take a sip of water if you need to shake it your knees are probably feeling it as well especially if you have the floor like I do here it's not even, so it makes it harder. But that's okay. Last exercise. Beginners, 
you are going to do the monster walk so your feet wider than shoulder width apart you are sitting back and down and stepping back and forth every step counts as one rep we are doing 100 steps everyone else we are using this resistance band now we are going to face the point of attachment wrap the resistance band around your hips make sure that it's even on both sides so now walk away from the point of attachment and sit back and down we are doing 100 steps four four away and four closer to the point of attachment so four stepping back and four stepping forward Twenty. Stay low. Twenty-four. Twenty-eight. Thirty-two. Thirty-six. Forty. Keep your glutes engaged. Forty-four. Forty-eight. Keep your feet wide. Fifty-two. 56, last 40, 36, 32, 28, if you need quick break, get up, shake it, we have 28 steps, 24, last 20, 16, 12, 8, 4, your quads are going to bed for mercy, okay, all done guys, Whew. I'm feeling it, the glutes are the most sore muscle, but you're also gonna feel it in your quads. So, it's a great all-around workout. We are done. Nothing else needs to be done. So, you can celebrate with a good stretch and cool down. If you don't like to stretch at the end of the workout, you can just cool down, walk around, catch your breath, bring your heart rate back to normal. I suggest you stretch just because your muscles are warm, your joints are looser, so it's easier to get a better stretch. We'll start with sitting upright, torso up, chest open, shoulders back and down, one knee is bent and the heel is closer to your body the second leg is nice and straight take a deep breath in open up your chest and as you exhale try to reach the knee with the chest not your shoulders do not keep your back round you open up the chest and then lean forward as far as you can if you relax and fully exhale you will be able to reach further to lean further Four. great and now let's switch opposite leg one leg is nice and straight in front of you your shoulders and your hips facing that leg take a deep breath in exhale and lean forward as far as you can keep your shoulders back and down and lean forward Great, get up. Now, place the opposite leg in front of you, nice and straight, bend the knee and step over that straight leg. Turn around and twist your torso. 
chest nice and open elbow is against the bent knee pushing it back behind your back perfect and let's switch opposite leg bend at the knee step over and turn away in the opposite direction perfect and now let's get on all fours your knees under your hips your hands under your shoulders put your toes up take a deep breath in exhale raise your hips and push your hips back and up try to place your heels on the floor try to reach your knees with your chest Pull your belly button in. Perfect. Now, get in the plank and step forward. Drop the back knee and bring your torso up. Push your hips forward and down. And from here, grab that front knee and put it down on the floor sit between the heel and the hip try to rotate your hips so your hips and your shoulders are square and parallel to the ground if you need to you can lay down on the knee come up place your hands right under your shoulders bring your butt up and switch opposite leg the knee is bent the back leg is as straight as possible the hips are turned so the hips and the shoulders are square perfect place your hands next to the knee bring your butt up and get in the runner's lunge then drop the back knee and push your hips forward okay guys this is it we are done with the workout we are done with the stretch that was an amazing workout uh, i really enjoy doing the lower body workouts i guess is because of the uh, much greater burn in the muscles we are working on our biggest muscles the glutes are our biggest muscle and then the leg muscles are um, second to uh, large so i enjoy working my lower body i enjoy doing the workouts for the glutes for the legs and i hope you do too if you do please show me how you like it and um, you can click the uh, thumbs up uh, button and also if you haven't yet please subscribe to my channel and you can go through the list of the workouts that we did before for the lower body and pick a new workout that you're gonna do next and i'll hope to see you next time bye guys